Chapter 1. Defining Design Design is not solely limited to our understanding in the visual, architectural, or interactive sense. Design transcends the traditional ideas of the discipline and extends into a meaningful and purposeful approach to systems, thinking, digital, environmental, and development. Design is about solving problems. The design process is about scaffolding your steps to discover the best solution for the challenge. I am a firm believer in in a scaffolding approach where you discover research and then prototype to test and validate before creating a final design solution. The sum of those parts are all design, though many view the output as the definition of design. Not just prototyping an end product or service, I'm talking about prototyping the creative thinking to find the solution. Prototype your ideas and explore all possibilities to make products or services from those ideas and align them early in your vision. Design is problem solving. Design is problem solving, but with solving a problem, have we created others in the process? Why continue to design if the end result is a fleeting pursuit of constantly trying to fix and solve additional problems created from solving an initial problem? We cannot tackle all of the world's problems. Or can we? And through what value system? Must we destroy the modern structures to build new ones? Must we only solve problems that create a new sense of power through a postmodern lens? All of these things should be measured differently. Design is about envisioning a new future and building solutions to the challenges that keep us from the manifestation of that future. Looking at past problems, past best practices, past success, past failures, and finding a way to navigate through compounding problems from flawed design over time to create better products or services. But what if designing better products, services, and solutions for the future means building a better humanity in the present? What if better design isn't about building on top of the current societal systems of modernism and postmodernism, but applying both movements to our work in the sense of building a better structure of humanity? Build a better self, build a better existence, build a better life, build a better design. For example... A poorly designed product can have the best intentions. A struggling business can have beautiful design. A great business with beautiful design can be successful. A struggling business with poor design can fail. A great business with beautiful design can fail. And a struggling business with poor design can succeed. A modernist outlook would say that the success or failure of the design of the business is contingent on the strength of the system. A postmodernist outlook would say that the success or failure of the design of the business is because of lack of support, lack of resources, or the success is true but not measured in dollars and profits.